Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download files faster with Motrix. So to start off, I want to say that Motrix is based off of the Araya 2 command line download tool. Now that download tool has some special technology, and I say special because I'm not a programmer and I don't really understand how this all works, but it can somehow speed up your downloads by using multiple requests at the same time. Anyway, Motrix is like a graphical interface for it, and it's a pretty nice one. So we are going to go over how to install it and how you can use it. So in this video in particular, we will be following the app images installation, but there are multiple different types. Uh, there are multiples, you know, different types of installation methods you can do to get this working. So to start off, open up a terminal and uh, go to the link in the description, copy the first command in the app image instructions, and that is to download the Motrix app image file. Once the downloading is done, we can create the folder app images, and then we can move the Motrix file into the app images folder, and then we can move the terminal into the app images folder and update the permissions. All right, now we can run Motrix for the first time with this command here. Now it's gonna install it and it'll say, would you like to integrate Motrix with your system? Select yes, and this will make a application shortcut. And uh, we see Motrix is open and now we can find a file. So full disclosure, this does not work with every single file. If you can't get a direct link to it, very likely you're not gonna be able to download it. But a good test is Ubuntu because Ubuntu gives you a direct link to their ISO files. So let's get 1804 LTS. Find the download now button, copy link location, just press cancel over here. And then we can do a download by clicking the plus sign and we have our link here, click the submit button. Now this also supports torrents. So let's find the Ubuntu torrent and I'll show you how that works. Okay. So as you can see, downloading in eight minutes flat. Now, if I was downloading this through Firefox, you know, it's variable, but uh, usually my downloads take about 15, 20 minutes because I have 25 megabit down because I am cheap. But uh, it shows you your max download speed and you can actually track it so you know it's going faster or slower. You can do a lot of different stuff and, and tweaks by going to the settings. We're not going to get into that here, but if you mess with the settings, there's advanced things you can do, such as uh, proxy servers, RCP Connect, and all that stuff. But uh, let's let's stop this download so we can show you the torrent. So it can work with magnet links, and it can also work with torrent files. I'm going to use a torrent file. So I'm going to download this torrent file here. And uh, as you see, when I download it, it's going to open it up in the app, and I click Submit. Might have to delete this first. Hold on. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so it'll try, it'll it'll detect the file and it will say, hey, I'm gonna download this. Then you just click submit and it'll start. And the same thing as possible in Motrix with the magnet links. So definitely a great download manager. I've noticed that it downloads things a lot faster uh, on this than on my browser, and I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>